Well, we plan to hire 35 uh, software engineers over the next 12 months. We're primarily looking for people with Java, Ruby, C++, and Erlang skills. So anyone who's in those sectors, we'd love to talk to you. Well, it's certainly there's a diminished pool, but I think if you've got really, really interesting work, it, it tends to attract the best people. We have the highest tech stuff around at the moment, and uh, we've even got an internship program that just went live uh, this week. So we're going to all the colleges, and who's interested, go to aol.ie. Well, it's important that you pick up a language, start from the start. Start with HTML, and then you'll find if you've got an aptitude, you'll move quickly on from there. Well, at the moment, in the Irish-owned software industry, we have about, uh, about 1,500 job vacancies. They're uh, right across the board, but they're particularly in areas like software architect, Java and C++ programmers, uh, product managers, which are very hard to find, not, not just project managers, but product managers, which are really quite hard to find, uh, internet marketing people, um, right across the board. But those skills in particular are in very, very short, very, very high demand. So right across the sector, between multinational and Irish, there's about 4,000 job vacancies. Within the Irish companies, as I said, there's 1,500 vacancies, so there are really good jobs here. The average salary of an experienced person is about 80K a year. So these are really solid jobs. What you get is, in an Irish company, you would get, if you like, a wider exposure to challenge and maybe playing a bigger part. What you get in a multinational, I suppose, would be maybe deeper uh, in a, in a uh, very special, deeper in a specialized area, and obviously the, the opportunity to, to join their parent company, wherever that might be. So these are really good jobs, really solid jobs in a very fast growing sector. So Coder Dojo are here today kind of talking to people who are interested in becoming mentors and talk to companies who are interested in setting up Coder Dojos and generally spreading the good word of Coder Dojo. I think through most Coder Dojos you have like the basics of HTML, CSS and JavaScript and then uh, various mentors in different locations will teach their skills. So you have some dojos doing Java, others doing Python, um, some dojos even doing like 3D printing and robotics and weird stuff. So it's a really rich array of various languages across Coder Dojos. I think if they've got any like basic skills, it's it's most definitely like worth coming along and uh, che uh, like checking out Coder Dojo and talking to mentors there. Um, and particularly if people are looking to upskill, and if they're unfortunately over the age of 18 and too old to come to Coder Dojo, um, all this stuff is online. It's just like you know getting started and pointing in the right direction. I mentor and help out at mainly the Dublin one, uh, the UCD and Science Gallery one. Uh, yeah, I'm the founder of Libramatic. So uh, what we do is a smartphone and cloud-based library management system. So a huge issue that librarians face at the moment is uh, that all information has to be put in manually. So this is a huge pain on librarians. So what we do is all you have to do is just scan the books ISBN using a smartphone. And then we go off to the web and get all the books information. And it's then stored in the database so it can be checked in or checked out again by scanning the user's user uh, library card or the book's ISBN. Yeah, there's huge support. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of big companies here like Twitter and Microsoft that are always helping startups, so it's great support here. Yeah, so the interest for us here today is basically that we think that there are a lot of um, people from a business background, people from a technical background who are looking for jobs, but also deep in the back of their brains, they've also got that burning idea for a startup company. So we're really keen to talk to them about how NDRC can help to actually turn those good ideas into startup companies, help them think about forming a new venture. That's critical to everything that NDRC does, really. Um, so we're, we're meeting a, a bunch of techies. We're also meeting a bunch of people with sales marketing marketing backgrounds who are telling us that they've got this idea, they've just never been able to get it off the ground. So we're keen to tell them about, particularly about two programs that we run at NDRC. One of which is our Sweat Quitty program. We ran it for the first time this summer and it had fantastic results. So the idea for Sweat Quitty was around, um, we see a lot of one-man bands coming into NDRC with great ideas, but they don't have the teams to take the ideas forward. So with Sweat Quitty, we recruit idea owners plus people with core skill sets. We meld them together to create new startup teams and then we work with those teams over a five-week period. So a bunch of people that we've been chatting to, do, to, chatting to today are really keen to get involved. So we'll be launching the next round of Sweat Quitty. Uh, we'll be calling for ideas in the end of October for a program that will run for five weeks from November through to December this year. So watch this space for more information. The second program that we're telling people about is our Launchpad program. So NDRC Launchpad is for startup companies that are maybe a little bit more progressed. Uh, the people who are coming up with the ideas have maybe found their co-founder and they're ready to get going. So through Launchpad, we bring teams into our building for a three month period. We provide very small amounts of investment, up to 20K, which basically allows them to, to, to stop having to look for other ways to earn their living for three months and concentrate full time on the business. And that's 
very appealing to the people that we've been meeting today at Career Zoo. We've met a lot of people, we've been giving out a huge amount of leaflets. We'll be recruiting again for Launchpad at the end of the year for a program to begin in February. So it's been an amazing day for us in terms of uh, meeting the people that we want to engage with. Yeah, that's absolutely true and we see that a lot of the time, you know, that that, that um, need for the right tech skills to build the idea that you have is, is critical and certainly for the people that we see coming through um, with business ideas but that maybe not don't have that tech skills themselves. One of the great things that we see though is that the startup scene is absolutely burgeoning. Like here in Dublin, it's crazy. Like every, I'd say every second person that we've, has come past us today has had an idea for a tech startup. So it's quite a groovy space to be working in. So we're seeing that actually a lot of developers, a lot of techies are quite keen on startup. They're quite keen on moving into that space. So that's something that we're, you know, we're, we're really happy about. Absolutely, there's a, the, 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 you know, the, the global tech talent thing is incredibly important for us to be able to see more people moving into Ireland who've got the skill sets that we need both for our multinationals our indigenous companies and our indigenous startups is critical and everything that we can do to support that is hugely important over the past uh, two years we've actually brought some teams from overseas because we've been able to sell Dublin as a startup location and that's been attractive for tech people to move and we'd love to see more of that